Hello, Tiger Sports fans, and welcome back to another episode of Tiger Sports Nation. I'm Francisco Avila. And I'm Greg Collins, and we have a lot to get you caught up on this weekend in DePaul Sports. But first, we have a very special guest here today, as our DePaul Assistant Director of Athletics Communications, Ashley Jones, agreed to sit down with our own Joey Webster to give us a little bit of insight on what it's like behind the scenes of our home athletic events. Hi, I'm Joey Webster, here with Ashley Jones, the Assistant Director of Athletics Communications here at DePaul University. Ashley, thank you for being here. Absolutely, glad to be here. Um, I just had a few questions about just kind of what you do. First, um, what is it that an SID does, and more specifically, what is it that you do for DePaul Athletics? So an SID, for those of you who don't know, that's Sports Information Director. I'm the Assistant Sports Information Director here at DePaul. Um, I have a bunch of different responsibilities, from uh, recapping games, there uh, is a specific part of statting. Sometimes I work on the PA announcing, um, but mostly what I get to do here is work on our social media and um, really just try to get people to our games. That's awesome. Um, what is it, you mentioned games at the end there, so what, what would a typical game day look like for someone in your profession? Yeah. Um, I would say a typical game day varies. Okay. You know, uh, we're in the spring season now. It's going to be a very different setup than if we were in our winter sports. Um, I would say, you know, making sure that we have the starting lineup for both teams, mm -hmm. um, coordinating with our event manager and making sure that, um, you know, we have walkies on the field and calling up substitutions or fouls. Um, one piece that we, um, as sports information directors, specifically work on is the statting portion of the game. So making sure that we're having a person that's kind of calling the game, keeping an extra eye on the field, and uh, getting us all the information that we need to input into a computer. Um, and then I have my work-study students who uh, get to do photography and kind of run social while we're statting the game. Yeah, yeah, you mentioned the work-study students. Um, I know that you have a, a pretty big team of work-study students, along with sometimes interns. Yes, And yeah. you have an internship that I know you are kind of the boss of. So could you kind of just talk a little more about like what it is that your interns do versus your work-study students? And Absolutely. How that makes your job easier? Yes, so um, when I started here, I you know found out about Media Fellows and I thought those students are going to know probably more than I do sometimes. Um, from the social media standpoint to you know, video production, photography. Um, so my work study students, they kind of make sure that the everyday um, stuff is getting done. Graphics, um, making sure that we, we kind of implement a media day. So I have two yeah. photographers that have helped me out with media day. Um, and then, you know, again, the game day experience. So, um, you know, sometimes we do halftime games. Sometimes yeah. we uh, try to just interact with the crowd and doing the Tiger fans of the game. Um, for my interns, uh, it's a little bit more, uh, a little bit more work because you're with me for the full day. Um, we sometimes have to cut the day short because there's a game day and I want to be cognizant of, you know, getting a little rest. Um, but the day-to-day -day for an intern is making sure that, you know, I get anything and everything done that needs to get done that day so that we can do creative stuff with our work-study students. Um, I think the uniqueness of the internship is you're going to get all the sports during that season. I'm going to try to you know, get you in front of a statting um, opportunity. Um, I know this past fall um, with soccer, there's a Genius Sports. Um, we had one of our interns stat the games. And, you know, from the start of the semester to the end, I was able to kind of sit back and not have to stat the game and instead kind of just make sure that everything else was working smoothly. So. Um, the goal is introduce more people to sports information and athletics communications as a whole, and then um, kind of take it from there and hopefully see the next generation of um, athletics communications directors um, develop. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, that's all we got time for today, but thank you so much for taking the time to be here and t telling us about what you do. Absolutely.
Thank you, Ashway, for taking the time to speak with us and giving us such great insight. It was a very busy weekend in DePaul Athletics as we had six teams in action. On Friday, the women's basketball team fell in a heartbreaker to Illinois Wesleyan in the opening round of the NCAA Division III tournament by a score of 56-55. to Great season, ladies. The softball team was in Georgia over the weekend where they played four games over the course of three days. On Friday, they fell to Alma by a score of 11-8, to but they bounced back to take the next three games over the course of the weekend beating Piedmont, Texas, Lutheran, and Barry by scores of 2-1, 13-9, and 3-1, respectively. The baseball team was in Arkansas for a three-game series with the undefeated Hendricks Warriors this weekend. The Tigers dropped the first game on Friday, 14-7, but split the doubleheader on Saturday, handing Hendricks their first loss in Game 1 by a score of 9-6, then dropping Game 2, 8-6. The men's and women's lacrosse teams were both in action over the weekend as well, as the women knocked off Transy on Saturday by a score of 14 to 11, while the men lost to Elmhurst on Sunday by a score of 13 to 5. And last but not least, the women's tennis team played on Saturday as a topped Principia by a score of 8 to 1. And that will do it for this week's episode of Tiger Sports Nation. Once again, I'm Gray Collins. And I'm Francisco Vila. And as always, Roll, roll Tigs! tigs.